And that summer was crazy for so many reasons. It was the summer of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor. And our university, in a response, they sent an email that a lot of Black students felt it was ingenuine. There was nothing that said, we actually care about this. These are the things that we're experiencing. So being Black in Wichita Falls, I um, feel like I'm always being watched, um, whether that's, say, here at MSU or just locally going to the grocery store. I have to make sure I'm always on my best behavior. I didn't realize that's that. That's bullshit. <laughs> but shouldn't you always be on your best behavior? Right. <laughs> I mean, just act like a normal person out in public. Like, I don't. Look, let me let me tell you something. Nobody's watching your ass in the produce aisle, bruh. <laughs> Get the I fuck am. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that boy looking at the... But yeah, that's the point, bit. is just be a person. Generally, generally, my butt was kicked by my parents if uh, I didn't wasn't on my best behavior, you know? Yeah, but it's, it seems like he, he's upset that he has to be on your best, his best behavior, which is a red flag to me. Or just locally going to the grocery store, have to make sure I'm always on my best behavior. I didn't realize that there were so many things that I could, I guess, come in contact with during my time here versus when I Look go back. this place these kids are at and they're bitching like. Come to the Metroplex. So between the racism and just looking for entertainment, making friends is, is quite difficult. It's really different. I don't, I feel like um, certain times during the day or nights, um, I'm very cautious of things that goes on or don't go out at all. It's very <laughs> um, sometimes uncomfortable. Um, on campus, I don't feel as much as that, but as I venture out to get groceries or things like that, it's very, um, I get a lot of eyes. It's very um, uncomfortable. The only time I was really um, aware of my presence in Wichita Falls. Was what is he talking was, about? During election time, oh, I God. was told by a lot of people hey, maybe don't go off campus at this time. Or, you know, you're driving around and you see a lot of, like, Trump flags and stuff, and that makes you very aware and cautious. Oh, my gosh. Bruh. <laughs> that bitch I mean, a damn just, lie. A few years before <laughs> that, every rapper was uh, name-checking Trump, right? Right. These people are... These people are what I call professional complainers. Surroundings, but I haven't found a lot of young black professionals in Wichita Falls. Um, so that obviously has um, impacted my social life, social engagement. Obviously, there are. It makes me sad though, because they've here. been taught that um, this is true, <laughs> like, and they're just repeating it. It bothers me. Out of like it's just. One. Um, and so it has total victim and you have to be mentality of what I see because at the end of the day it no you don't Amanda you gotta let the um chat hear the video um uh, what's in what's in the name they can't hear over you talking man you gotta just take it a little bit easy man thank you for your contribution though man Savick says most of their victimhood comes from their own psyches it only exists in their mind it's a placebo it's fake yeah i mean but this is how they're at on, on every campus this is what i want to show you guys this this for this is how they are on every camp university of maryland howard american university where, where, I, where i'm from dc georgetown this is how they are every single campus it's cookie cutter they're cutting paste it's like you, they're all the same it's fucking crazy on a lot of young black professionals in wichita falls um so that obviously has um impacted my social life social engagement obviously there are there is a black community here um just it's not a vibrant one um and so it has been kind of challenging i knew i had to be careful of what i say because at the end of the day, it can't come back at me. You know, being black is an issue. So the stuff that we say, we just have to be really careful. Once <laughs> come on, man. Uh, uh, spe people. Speaking of speaking of uh, of being careful about what you say, when you said you were out shopping for a hose, I got a little concerned. <laughs> you no, no, I was I wasn't hitting the stroll, man. I'm shopping for a hose. A holes, <laughs> not some holes. But listen, man, 
no one is more comfortable in public. When you go in public, the white people are like, they're walking all stiff and like, kind of like, you know, like, yes, hi, and excuse me. Like, they, you could barge through a crowd of white people and they'll all be like, excuse me, excuse me, sorry, sorry. Like, black people are the most comfortable talking loud on their cell phone, pet clothes hanging off of them. Oh, God. Yes gesticulating wildly with their hands while they talking, <laughs> arguing with cashiers and waiters over stupid shit. I mean, double parking in front of fire hydrants. We just the most comfortable people in the Hanging world. Hanging out outside the damn gas station. What the fuck? How do they sell this to you gliders? And I just want to ask the gliders. Showing their ass, sagging their pants, busting how do slack. They sell this to y'all? How do you how do you allow them to suspend reality? I just want to know this, man. Like, uh, and quickly too. Like, it, it don't tell me I'm not. I don't buy that shit. No, you. Mm -hmm. How do gliders as a whole buy this shit? We're, we're, we're curious. It's it's a constant barrage. Guilt. Why? It's why? Like, you know, people think they're honest, man. We believe them. I know you said I mean, not to say that, but white people believe them when they say this shit. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Jesus. That's because that's, that I mean, uh, Go ahead. that's because most of these wealthy, ultra, ultra woke, ultra radical gliders have grown up in 100% absolutely segregated neighborhoods, segregated by, by income. You know, I mean, and, and, and it's like, and they just, and they never even knew a son person growing up. You know, so I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. Maybe the wealthy gliders do that, but dude, it's even the poor gliders think like right. this. It's not got nothing to do with, oh, I lived in this neighborhood, dude. It's wokeness is everywhere. Yeah. Like these people, these people are the most ostentatious <laughs> in your face fucking flamboyant people on the planet we just have to be really careful one time i was walking just outside the president's house and some guys in a truck yelled out nigga to me and i was like that's so weird because i never i never felt like a nigga <laughs> or like just like a black person or i never felt that the color of my skin could be something so bothersome that you had to Put your head out of a car while I'm minding my business and you try to mind mine and call me names. That's berating. To me, I, f I just think that's ridiculous. Seeing as it's like mostly white dominated, like in the city, me being non white, like in the spaces that I'm in, like if I go to a restaurant, if I go to like Walmart, it's definitely more apparent on of like who I am. And I can only imagine how difficult that is. Maybe it's light skin as fuck. <laughs> what the hell? It's these people I'm tired weird. of the word spaces, by the way. Yeah, I hate right. that, man. I hate that Spaces. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. have to engage in courses where they don't have faculty members that look like them. Um, and it's possible that they can matriculate their entire years at the university without walking into a class. Um, then also, there aren't any course offerings that speak to their racial identity, um, their, histo their historical identity. And that was another thing, obviously, at, at an HBCU, African-American literature, African-American history, things of that nature are, you know, kind of primary, whereas, you know, MSU doesn't even offer those. And included in people's degree plan, because if you ask people to take courses and they don't get credit for it, that means, you know, it's just money. Kind of frustrating because I needed a philosophy credit. Classes cost money. I chose that one. And at the time, you know, my advisor, uh, she was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. You know, so I'm thinking, you know, I'm learning about my culture, you know, knocking out a credit. This is cool. Come to find out it was the only philosophy credit, literally the only one that didn't count. And I ended up having to spend more money, take another philosophy class, push my uh, graduation date back. It just kind of leaves you wondering, like, why? You know, why that? 
And it's also no longer here. Emphasize cultural awareness, real history, not only about black history or anything, but about, you know, all different like cultural history. We had this reading called the Combahee River Collective. And it was just a reading filled with like black women, black feminism, basically, just a whole book on that. I've never like had a class that like was dedicated to black feminism. I think being black at MSU means um, switching all the time. How I'm talking to a friend in class, not how I talk to a friend outside of class. Um, it's like wearing a coat in, in the uh, cold weather, and when you get home, you can finally take it off. Even today, not that. You <laughs> what the fuck? So this is what's this is what's at your colleges, man. So um, coverage. Um, Yeah, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Okay. Speaking of, because, you know, the Sun Man, they're always talking about how they, they got to tiptoe through life. You know, you just you got to always to walk outside. You, you got to watch what you're doing. Um, this is um, a, a YouTube prankster. So this is, are you familiar? Are you guys familiar with these pranks? These guys come up and they prank people. Um, this guy's... Um, these people are not in on it. This is just a couple waiting at the airport. This is in the airport. So they're pranking people in the airport. Um, Isn't that the same bag you bought last week? No, How we get on the plane? We can't find our bags. bags. Yeah, just ain't our bags. Bro, sure? that's his bag, right? He bought, what am I, he bought that same bag, bro. <laughs> bro, there's nothing about me. I wonder if they work for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. <laughs> Look at that ass, though. Yeah, 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 but, but but look, these people, they're so fucking scared in public that they're doing pranks, like when they run up on people, unsuspect. They don't know these people. They don't know these people from a can of paint, and they're it's filming. Like, this isn't like having to step off the sidewalk shit no more, bro. They're running up on a couple. Trying to take their bag like it's in theirs. the airport, and no one, yeah, that's <laughs> a fed crime, right? This is a place where high security, like, this is very serious. Like, everybody in there is fucking stressed out, fucking worried and shit, or fucking, you know, just trying to fucking stay calm. And it's a high the only people group. allowed to do this are Biden appointees, yeah, exactly. You can't get it. I can just get. I can just get the. Why are you walking away with my, my bag, bro? Yeah, he walked up on his fucking girl. Like, at oh. some point, it's not funny anymore. You walking mm -hmm. up on my my girl. See, I would have maced his ass. I would have. See, I carry mace. My knees fucked up. I can't. I can't get into no <laughs> scuffle right now. I would have maced his ass so fucking hard, man. Um, no bullshit. I ain't. I'm not playing. I would have. Spray that I'm talking about bear mace. I got that good shit. I got <laughs> I got shit that a literally you won't think you'll you'll think you're blind. You'll be like I'm 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 never gonna see it again. Um, I would have I would have pulled out maces, but I'm in the airport. See, damn, I would have been in the airport, so I wouldn't have had the mace with me. Damn, um, shit, damn. It's dope that he actually did something. Relax, relax, bro. Relax, relax, bro. Relax, bro. He's joking. It's a joke. You are then what? Okay, so it's a joke, but yeah, but like, don't run up on someone's girl, dog. Like he got him fucked up. Why are you walking away with my? Yeah, like he walking up on this guy's fucking woman. <laughs> you can't get it. I can just get. I can just get the. Why you look at that? Like, what was this guy supposed to do? Walking away with my, my bag, bro. Touch my bag. Yo, relax, bro. Relax, bro. He's, relax, bro. he's relax, joking. It's a joke. Yo, it's a joke. I don't know you. We're not boys. We're not friends. It's not no fucking joke. This is harassment. And you weren't on fucking that '70s show, so nobody knows who the fuck you are. Right? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing funny about running up on someone's girl and trying to take her goddamn bag like it's yours, man. Like who? Like who the fuck? <laughs> Why? It, it, it escalates. So it escalates. But then why? <laughs> Like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google me, nigga. I'll beat you up, bro. Stop playing me. What? I'll scap you right now. What? Nah, you How you feeling? What? You feeling? what? In her face. <laughs> he <talking laughs> about, this guy right here is a rapper, EBK Nas. He's from, I think, the Bronx or something like that. And um, 
he's really like about that life. They're really shooters and they really kill people and whatnot. That that whole Bronx drill rap scene, he's in that. Yeah. He's so born. it's like he's talking about it. So now since the guy's kind of upset about being pranked and his girl's personal space being violated, now EBK is going to stab him in the face. For well, being look at the third bailer on that girl. Damn. I don't know if it's real, but I like it. Yeah, it's not real. I mean, is he Ethiopian? So it's not real. It's oh, real big. Bro, relax, bro. Relax, relax, bro. He's joking. It's a joke. You are being white. Like, I'm really Oh, uh, if it's a joke, if it's a joke, like, then why are you, then what, then if, if it's a joke, right, this is some new prankster shit. Pranksters back in the day will prank you and then leave. These motherfuckers are like stalkers, man. Bro, he's, doing, bro, he's joking. It's a joke. You're then white. Like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google me, nigga. I'll beat you up. Let's stop playing. No, like, dog. He said Google me. <laughs> Google got like, that like, knob on the top of his head so his boyfriend can drive his head right. He's stalking. This is stalking. They don't understand jokes. Like you, you're not supposed to beat someone up if they don't like your joke, man. It's just like but you're just, not even just, supposed to say nothing after. Like once it's once okay, it failed. The the prank failed. Go your way. Like you. That's when that's when you leave. You don't continue talking to the person. Yeah, now he's making terroristic <laughs> threats. That's yeah, <laughs> like like the conversation's over. We walked up, we tried to prank you, it went left. Now he's watch this guy leave. This guy's leaving. Watch this. Watch the back. It's a joke. You're oh. then white. <laughs> like I'm really on that. You don't. He's leaving. They're leaving, and now he goes into his whole spill about who he is and what he's going to do. Not for nothing. When I go to pick people up at the airport, I'm packing. And you can legally do that. So as long as you're not flying, you know, you can have anything. He's picking her up. This guy could be dead right now. No, they flew away waiting way for a car. Why? <laughs> like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google me, nigga. I'll beat you up. Let's stop playing me. What? I'll stab you right now. What? Nah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Post you in the wrong way is a joke. I'll stop your face right now. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Now he has to be held back. Now they're leaving. So, so just think about it. Think about it. They're Call leaving. my mama. She'll tell you how tough I am. They're leaving again. Nah, 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 nah. Think about the nature of these guys. This is why they're so. This is why it, there's, there's really no skill to this. Okay, so he's gone off. He's flipped off. He's told the guy he's going to stab him and all this stuff. His boy holds him back. Oh, pee, 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 pee. Calm down, bro. Nobody, nobody. They're leaving now. Now they're they're leaving for the second time. What? Yeah. What? Somebody you in the wrong way is a joke. I'll stop your face right now. Yeah, what? Now he can't. Now he. They're leaving with no comment. They left in silence. They do. They're respond. blurring the knife in the red shirt's hand. They didn't respond. So now he's gonna chase them. Think about how unhinged, like, if this guy wasn't black, this behavior would be seen as absolutely preposterous. But because he's black, it's like, it's a kind of a normalcy to it. We kind of like, all of us are really racist and coons. Because we kind of, hit one if you feel me on this. This is not as absurd as it would be if it was a person from another race. If this was a tiger who walked up on a guy with a fake prank, it went left, then he told the guy he was going to stab him in the face, the guy leaves, then he kirks, then he kirks off and starts to chase the Like, <laughs> I mean, if this was a tiger, we would be like, that tiger is a fucking nut. It's just a regular sun man. This, we all view this as just a normal sun man. Which it's, makes a lot of us a little bit racist, man. It's pathetic, bro. It's really pathetic. Look how emotional that guy got just because no one knew who the fuck he was and didn't laugh at his jokes. Now you want to stab up somebody? Pathetic. And you're right, Ock. They're like, yeah, of course. No wonder. This is insane behavior. This behavior is insane. 
that's what I was talking about earlier. Like you let shit slide and then they keep doing it. And now that's just expected out of a cat. They're like, yeah, of course. This wasn't always like that. Cats was getting snatched up. They didn't act. Everybody didn't act like that on the camera. Stop playing with me. Bro went to the airport to stab somebody that he doesn't know, bro. <laughs> like, think about that. He's doing a prank and telling yeah, people to stop playing with him. Them dudes are goofy, bro. Yeah. yeah they, they might stab you up, but I'll die being cool. They'll still be goofballs, corny motherfuckers. Look at this one. This is another one. Um... A stolen stolen luggage prank goes horribly wrong. This fucking this fucking son man um tried to steal this white guy's luggage and the white guy wasn't happy about it. And it's just these people are bizarre, man. I mean, these people it, it's just like both we gotta do both we gotta do well you know i uh, when i'm in the, when i'm when i leave, when i leave campus and i go to the fucking walmart i see eyes and i see the way white people look at me and it makes me feel uncomfortable and i know that i got a code switch and i can't act normal when i'm around white people i <laughs> i can um you know i got to um watch how i talk because you know they make they, they, you never know what they're gonna do and then you have this so we have to play both games. You gotta play, you gotta, you gotta when they run up on you with the prank and snatch your luggage, you gotta act like that's normal. And you gotta sit there with a straight face and no rebuttal when they talk about how fucking terrified they are of you in the fucking Krogers. And he's a skinny little bastard. That's why immediately he went to weapons. I'm gonna cut you. Yeah, it's it's funny. Like a lot of Suncats don't understand. I, I don't think they get that a lot of uh, gliders aren't around Sunmen. So all they see is television and rap videos and shit like that. So then they get mad that they get treated like criminals. It's like all they see is criminals, man. This is regular to these cats. Yeah, man. Um, like that dude's a representative of Sun of 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 everybody. Every every Sunman, he's repping. He's repping Sunmen. Yeah, he definitely repping something. Um, uh, <laughs> like this guy said, he said, but some say they aren't safe to go outside, yet they go out and pull pranks like this. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, shit is insane, man. Um, I, I just don't know how. How you how we move forward inside because this is only going to get worse. This does not. This doesn't correct itself. If you're hoping for these people to say, "The aha, we got to correct this, we got to change this," this only gets worse, man. This never gets better. I feel bad for you, gliders, man. I'm a son, man. I'm I'm used to this. This is just how some men act. It's nothing to me. Like I'm like it's just, and it's it is nothing to y'all either. But y'all y'all have to be like I'm not gonna be called a racist or anything. Um, give me another city. Where were you so far? I... Just give me another city, brother. It don't. It, it uh, 